Early voting polls were available to students at both the ARC and Illini Union for almost two weeks. As they came to a close Sunday night, UIUC student and first-time voter Katrina Bloom says it is a powerful thing that students had these early voting polls available to them. I feel like sometimes people don't go out and vote because they're like, oh, one vote out of so many millions of votes, like, I won't matter. But honestly, in, like, past elections, like, it's the single votes that count. So I think it's really awesome that a lot of youth are coming out. Bloom says that early voting has been highly promoted on the university's campus. Mock elections in local schools are other ways that the Champaign-Urbana community has been promoting youth awareness around the 2016 election. U of I's director of the Institute of Government and Public Affairs, Chris Mooney, says that the youth vote is important in more ways than simply casting a vote in this election. And the key thing about youth voting is that the, the earlier people start voting, the more likely they are, they are going to be to vote every time going forward and that it encourages uh, civic involvement. Mooney says that the more that young people vote, the more their interests will be represented in government. But being eligible and actually voting are two very different things. Mooney says that a person's upbringing can be a large influence on whether or not they choose to vote. Were their parents interested? Did their parents talk about uh, public affairs and issues and candidates? Did their parents vote? Did their parents take the kid to vote? Mooney says that the youth group could also be motivated to vote because of their personal interest in serious issues. Some of these issues include the cost of higher education and longer term issues such as national debt that will directly affect these youth voters in the years ahead. In Urbana, Kelsey Labatkin, UI7 News.